guys, this is Dr. Bass from The Endless Fair From, and uh, today, um, well, I have something special for you. Uh, we'll test some of these wires. Remember, um, I think it was tomorrow or a few days ago, I tested one of these wire. Uh, this is Trinity 10 gauge wire, uh, silicone skin uh, to 100 amp. So tonight we'll have fun because I got some uh, requests from you guys on the uh, From to test some different size of wires. So let's take a look. I have uh, just a little setup here. Uh, we'll, we'll do that uh, right now. Okay, so someone asked me to test the 12 gauge wire. Same kind as this one. This is the original 10 gauge wire. This one and this one are really popular on the uh, e-bike forum for virus connections on the uh, controller, on the uh, battery and uh, phase wires, etc. So what I will do, I will test each of these wires to 100 amp for one minute and I will measure the temperature. Okay? So just for those who uh, never saw these wires, just imagine this wire here have a lot of strands. You know these little strands here? They are uh, as thin as a uh, human hair or even uh, smaller. And uh, this makes this wire really compact, really compact because uh, the cross sectional of that wire, I mean um, the section of that wire, when you cut the wire, which surface is covered by the copper and which is uh, trapped with uh, uh, air inside so uh, this one have less air between the strands because these are smaller so uh, this helped to have a smaller wire with a lot of copper and uh, a lot of uh, amp um, uh, uh, tolerance okay so stop talking and it's time to start the test okay I will power up the power supply this is my great power supply one of the amp 10 volt Okay, you see connections here. This is, uh, I think it's a two gauge wire. Okay, so we'll begin with this one. The fun is later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will connect that wire immediately. Okay, start. All right, so just wonder how many volts we have across this wire. Actually, this is exactly one foot. So I've connected the multimeter here and here. So we'll measure that. See, right here, we have 6.8, 6.9 millivolt. But the problem is. <laughs> I did not increase the current. <laughs> okay, we'll test that right now. I will just stop. Take the chronometer back. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. <laughs> One minute. All right. We need amp. So I was surprised because it was not doing a really a big spark at 10 volt with 100 amp tolerance. All right, it's full clockwise. Okay, take two. Start. Okay, now we have our measure. One hundred. 30 millivolt and it's increasing this means that, that the wire is heating it's a resistance and as the heat increase the resistance also increase this is why um, when your uh, hub motor for example are hot or warm they are um, easier for your controller because you have less phase current okay so 24 second 22 and I will touch it it's barely warm, you know, I feel it's it's hot, but it, it doesn't burn. Okay, 10 seconds. Check with the thermometer again. 
All right. Okay, what's the temperature now? I will try to get the right temperature because it's difficult because the uh, angle sensitivity of that shit is uh, well, it's about 51, 52 degree. Okay. <laughs> Big spark. Okay, now it's time for the 12 gauge. I'll connect the 12 gauge. Start the chronometer. And how much voltage I have on this one? This is a 12 gauge with 100 amp. You see? 100. 250. This is about twice as on the 10 gauge. It should be really hot right now. I will touch it. Oh yeah, it's hot. It doesn't burn, but I will not keep my my hand on it for a long time. I'm sure it will uh, take the one minute t test, no problem. But well, you see, this one is uh, oh, it's quite hot. I will prepare the uh, thermometer. You see, these silicon wire, the skin change color. It get darker as it heat up. It it might be a good in indicator for you. <laughs> okay, what I have. I will stop. Okay, what is the temperature right now? Oh, 81. You see, there's 85, 88, 90. Okay, I guess it will work for your purpose on e-bike, but you, you see, just for one foot, you lose about. Oh, it's now 300 and increasing. 300 millivolt loss in this single wire and you can see the color it changed a little bit they were the same color okay and now the final test you see I will stop this one because it just oh it melted the tape you see the tape just melted <laughs> okay and there is some little smoke here just a little bit maybe the contact resistance Okay, now it's time for the 24 gauge wire. And you know guys, well, 24 gauge wire with 100 amp is ridiculous. <laughs> My guess is it, it will burn, you know? Because even if I have 10 volt at 100 amp, it's... Even if I have enough resistance to, to get 10 volt, 10 volt across this wire, I will have 1000 watt in that little wire. It cannot dissipate that heat. It will just eat up and burn and melt the plastic. But for that, I have this big, um, <laughs> you know, I'm ready for that, this big blower. So I will start it immediately because I don't want to have all that smoke right here. It will just carry it further. Okay, now you're ready for uh, 100 amp in a 24 gauge wire. It's time. I will start the chronometer. First, <laughs> okay. What it will do? Okay, you can see it didn't took a lot of time. I will have a souvenir on my uh, my uh, mat right here. The smoke immediately goes well. So yeah. So you see it's just melted in a second. You see the disaster and smell bad plastic. Oh, I wanted to make a more video for tonight, but it smells a lot bad. And uh, my smoke detector will <laughs> might just start. Okay, there is a little smoke here. I'm sure if I take my... Uh, just for fun to show you. Because camera, it's difficult to see the to see the smoke, but oh, this is the timer with this kind of laser pointer it's a 1.4 watt blue laser pointer you will see the beam you see so there's a lot of smoke here <laughs> and there's light so you see the beam just because of that wire melted 
So you see all that smoke. <laughs> ah, it, it smelled not really good. <laughs> it smelled bad. So I hope you appreciate it. Thank you uh, for watching and uh, I will keep you updated for uh, the next bike project. Bye bye.